Hey guys, doing a pro preferred update slash review. So let's get into it. Just gonna be a quicker video here. Um, see, I've been using it a lot lately outside. Um, it's been nice out. So yeah, I got uh, the gold labels. Really comfortable uh, gel pad. This comes with the red labels, but I modified it to myself and how I like. Uh, I'm really tired right now. Sorry, but. I'm trying really hard right now to save up some money so I can get some gloves coming in for you guys. So I'm working on it because I have a couple other things I have to pay for first, like my car payment and then my exhaust for my car. And then definitely going to order a glove or two or three. Um, one brand new and then probably two like decently used ones that are still nice to add to the collection or something. Maybe, I don't know, maybe just one glove for now, but yeah. Uh, it's got the Bruciato leather with the camel um, wings. Um, I think that's what they're called, wing or tips, I don't know. And the camel binding, camel lacing, camel stitching. Um, down there too. She's really dirty right now, as you can see, but I love it. Going to be getting that gold patch back on here soon. Um, the lining in there, the petards had this glove for a little while now as you can see the use is starting to show cracking on the binding um, the binding the lining and then the inside of the fingers um, the lace is still holding up really good fingertips are some wearing pocket there's some wearing I will continue to use this glove this coming spring I think uh, I'm gonna buy one brand new glove to try and break in to use I'm going to use my dad dude along with this in the spring, but like I want to get another new glove to break in. Um, so this is the Pro S12 ICBR. This is a 2013 model glove, pretty sure. Uh, 11 and 1 fourth inch for the professional players. Rawlings slogan, put it on all their gloves that are like a certain price point and higher. Um, individually handcrafted ID number 216. Um, it's the iWeb which Rawlings calls it. A lot of people call it I, a lot of people call it H-Web. really doesn't matter. Um, it's got the fur in there. Pressed down <sighs> from all the use. I'm I'm the only person who's ever used this glove, so. That was the first actual, it was the first new good glove I ever got. Besides like, besides like my Mizuno Classic Pro Soft, Chipper Jones one. Besides that, this was the actual good first glove I ever had. That was in, that was new that I ever got. I had that A2000 that was really beat up, but I was so excited. It was like a dream when this thing came in, or even the day I, I ordered it for two hundred and forty nine dollars off of eBay, two forty nine shipped. So didn't even pay two fifty for it. Brand new with tags. Uh, it's got the single X on the web. It's got the rolled welting, single welting. It's got the embossed Rawlings. This was the first year that they switched it to the Gold Glove Co. instead of Pro Preferred Leather. Um, so, And then the individually handcrafted used to be right down there where it says R.I.P. Julie. But now they moved it to the thumb for the 2013 model. <coughs> yeah. um, I personally like the design of the before this one. of Or like how the that stuff was and how the Rawlings was stitched on. I believe it was stitched there just makes it look better in my opinion um, yeah this glove is amazing it's got really thick heel padding but yet it still closes nice I would definitely buy this over an A2K it's got really thick thumb really thick pinky but a pretty thin palm which is good for infield so you can feel the ball this glove never stings ever it has a great feel this is the ideal infield glove in my opinion Uh, close his thumb to ring, pretty much. Um, still holds a shape. I used to. T I took good care of this for the first, for probably eighty percent of the time I had it. There was a point where I didn't really take good care of it, but I do again. I I always set it up like this. That's why it's held held a shape. 
I never put it in my bag, but there was a time when I didn't oil it for like a year or condition it. I mean, I let it get pretty dry. Um, actually, most of the coloring on it now is because that's actually how dark the leather is now from usage. Got a little bit of pine tar on the palm. Uh, I used to have it on the fingers, kind of just disappeared. Um, pocket tuned the pinky. When I play third base, I go to the pinky, which I mostly do now. I'm either pitching or playing third, so when I pitch, I go traditional. Or when I play infield, middle infield, I'm sorry, I go traditional. Closes around the ball. It's 11 and a quarter, but it's, it plays probably 11 and a half. Um, a little, maybe a little bit bigger than 11 and a quarter. So, it's about the size of a 1786, this one is. Maybe it feels a little smaller. But it swallows a 1788. It's that it's a lot bigger than a 1788 in my opinion. Maybe it's just this one the way it's broken in, but and it forms exactly how you want it to. This goes great. Very buttery leather. It's the kipped leather. In my opinion, this is Rawlings' best glove. I don't really like the Primo. I, I do like the the Gold Glove OptiCore series for like 500 bucks, but that's the reason I think this is better. It's because it's better for the money. Or you can get these for 250 on eBay to $300. Maybe even sometimes cheaper, I see them on there. And the Gold Glove OptiCore, I never see it cheaper than like $400. Um, and then this thing's a lot lighter than the Primo. Um, so I'd definitely get this. If you're going to get a Rawlings, I'd get a Pro Preferred, especially this model for infield. It'll definitely break into the point where you can use it at third. Um, and at least I'm comfortable with it at third. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much it. Retail for this was about $329 when I got it, but I got it for $249. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 5, whatever. It's amazing. One thing, it took a while to break in. It took about three months to get it to where I could close it to there, even. I mean, I was younger. I'm 18 now. I got this when I was 15. Um, and yeah, it took a little bit to break it in. I do live in Minnesota, so I can't play year-round. Um, and it took a long time for this thing to get pressed down. But now it's down, and it's amazing. I don't plan on stopping. I did for a while, but I don't plan on stopping using this glove for a while now. Like I said, this coming spring, she's going strong. So, um, yep. Uh, leave some recommendations for a new infield glove for me in the comments if you'd like. That could help out. I'm deciding between some gloves, and I don't know. I'd just like to see your guys' preference. I'd prefer a Rawlings, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. My price, probably 300 is my top for a new gamer. I'm going to be using this and the dad do this coming season, but yeah. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys later.